Hi guys, welcome to product to some and some to product. So this is really our one of our last videos on just different formulas we can use to simplify different trigonomic functions. Okay, I've highlighted the two. There's four of them written, but the ones I've started are the ones I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'll just run through them. So if you're multiplying a sine of it one angle times the sine of another angle, you can actually rewrite this as one half times uh, the quantity of the cosine of alpha minus beta minus cosine alpha plus beta. Okay, we're going to use that one. And if you go down the third one, multiplying sine alpha times cosine beta equals one half uh, times the quantity sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta. So those are the two I'm going to use. We're just going to use them to rewrite some formulas. So there's not much to this. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. So it asks us to express each of the following products as a sum or a difference. Well, we're using this first one here, sine of 8x times sine of 3x. So the idea here is our alpha would be 8x, our beta is going to be 3x. So when we look at this, I rewrite my problem, and then I'm going to say 1 half times the cosine of 8x minus 3x minus cosine times the quantity 8x plus 3x. And then I'll simplify what's in parentheses, so I'll have 1 half times the cosine of 5x minus cosine of 11x, and I'll close that off. So we've gone from a product to a sum, okay, the, they're equivalent, okay? In part B, I have sine of 4x, cosine of x. So I rewrite my problem, okay, then I go 1 half times the sine. My alpha is 4x, my beta is x, so I have 4x plus x plus sine of 4x minus x, and I get 1 half times the quantity sine of 5x plus sine of 3x. So again, in red, I have to simplify. Now it's important to realize we can't combine these because they have different angle measures. They're, they're not the same, so I can't say, oh, that's sine of 8x. Okay, it doesn't work like that. So don't combine them, they're not the same angle measures. Okay, just like here, I didn't combine the 5x uh, minus cosine of 11x to say, oh, that's negative cosine of, or you know, cosine of negative 6x. You can't do that, they're different angle measures. So you gotta leave them. All right. Now, here's the sum to product rules. There's not much to this. Um, we got our beta, looks like it got wiped off there. Beta, okay. There are four here. Again, if you look, I start only two of them, okay. So I have a sine alpha plus sine beta example. That's the same as two sine of alpha plus beta over two times the cosine of alpha minus beta over two. My fourth one I used, I used cosine alpha minus cosine beta equals negative 2 sine alpha plus beta over 2 times sine of alpha minus beta over 2. So I'm only using these two. There are four of them. But again, in class, I'm going to, in a test, I'm going to give you these formulas because it's too many just to memorize, okay? Now, in this example, it's just like the last one, just two quick examples to show how this property works. So I have sine of 9x plus 5x, and they want each to be expressed um, as a, it shouldn't be a sum or a difference, it should be a product, okay? Um, well, so it should be a product. So we're starting with a sum, we're moving it to a product, I apologize. Okay, oh no, as a product, okay. I misread it. So let's look at sine of 9x plus sine of 5x, and we're gonna write each sum or difference as a product. Well, my alpha is 9x, my beta is 5x. So I'm gonna have sine 9x, sine of 5x into this, it becomes 2 sine of 9x plus 5x over 2 times cosine 9x minus 5x over 2. Again, I'm going to simplify these fractions. So I get 2 sine of 14x over 2 times cosine of 4x over 2 becomes this, 2 sine of 7x plus, or uh, times cosine of 2x. So I just divided 14x by 2 is 7x, 4x divided by 2 is 2x. And again, we can't do anything here. So that's a sum to a product. In part B, cosine of 4x minus cosine of 3x. That's not just cosine of x, be careful. I get negative 2 sine of 4x plus the 3x over 2 times sine of 4x minus 3x over 2. When I simplify this, I get negative 2 sine of 7x over 2 times sine x over 2. There's no simplification like we had here to, to divide out. These don't go in evenly, so you leave them as fractions. Okay, so that's product to sum and sum to product. Not much to that rule. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.